What's going on YouTube? Jason right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you who have an iPhone 10, iPhone 8, iPhone 7, all the way down to the iPhone 4S. The uh, Checkmate exploit is being finally used for something very very good. A new jailbreak tool slash custom made firmware is being created on top of the Checkmate exploit that was released as you probably know a couple of days ago, like 9 days ago or so. And this one is part of the iPon DFU toolkit in here, but a couple of developers including Xiomex and Saigusa and Luca Tedesco have started creating Checkrain, which is basically a tool by the looks of it, which is able to load the jailbreak from the computer. Now as you can see in here in this picture it has a custom logo, but that is isn't actually a custom logo as a picture, they actually write to the frame buffer. So this is actually quite advanced. Now you can see here that once they run the uh, Checkmate exploit on a the device, they load a stage 3, which is basically this in here, which waits for the other commands to be sent from the computer. Now you can see in Saigusa's screenshot, it actually looks much better because you can see what's going on in there. There are a lot of people involved in this, including Luca Tedesco, I Hate Snow, GN Doc, and Lil Lalo, and many, many other people. So there is actually a bigger team behind this and as you can see from here it searches for a RAM disk so it seems to be that the uh, application from the computer which will only be available for macOS for the moment but will be ported after that sends all the important components to the device which listens to the USB in order to receive all this at least that is my understanding for the moment because there's no information about this or what it does but as you can see here it involves APFS, MFI, TFP0 and so on and even Mac mount so by the looks of it it does a remount, it also patches MFI, which is basically code sign, and I guess TFP0, or it patches the TFP0 function in the kernel to use it later. And after that, it tries to boot, and it says in here, quote, hello from user mode, which means that the device is basically booted. It says, quote, this device was not jailbroken, please leave it connected to the check rain. And it says, waiting for host for downloading data. So by the looks of it, they send the data for the jailbreak from the check rain application on macOS, and the device is actually listening to the connection and waiting for those files to be sent. So you can see from here that it does wait for the USB controller. So there is definitely a connection to the uh, Checkrain application on the computer. Now this is very likely part of a jailbreak based on the Checkrain exploit. And as you can see here, all the things are actually appearing on the device's screen. So they made a custom low level application on the device, probably a sort of bootloader or something, I do not know for the moment, that listens for the Checkrain application on the computer and waits for the jailbreak components like Cydia and so on to be sent, which is actually very very nice. I've seen this before back in the days when there was a custom logo and then of course the low level application would listen to the USB connection and wait for Red Snow or a similar application to send whatever files were left. But this is actually very hard to implement and as you can see here there are a couple of developers and many of them contributed in the past with either exploits or of course jailbreaks. So definitely interesting and I'm definitely waiting to see how this works because it looks very very interesting, especially since they managed to create their own low level application which waits for whatever the computer has to send. So they are pretty advanced in the process of jailbreaking these devices. And yeah, by the way, this will support the iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 4s on all the supported firmware. So for example, the iPhone 10 has iOS 13.1.2 as the latest version available. And yes, with something like this, you will be able to jailbreak the latest version available for the iPhone 10, the iPhone 7, the iPhone 8, the iPhone 6, and so on. So thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm GSNow, and till the next time, peace out.